Men's basketball has their senior night. Women's basketball finishes their season on the road. Ice hockey finishes their season with two-game series with BC. And track and field demolishes another record. I'm your host, Alex Luco. We have all the action, the top plays, and more on this edition of the Riverhawk Report. After sweeping the season series with Massachusetts, the hockey team only has two regular season games left. They travel to Chestnut Hill to take on Boston College Thursday before coming back to host them at the Sanga Center at 8.30 on Friday. Men's basketball will send off their lone senior on Wednesday, Tyler Livingston. Riverhawk Faithful and the Sanga Center will say goodbye to the former walk-on at 7 p.m. as they take on UNH. The women are still in search of their first conference win this season. They'll have one last opportunity on Thursday when they travel to New Hampshire. The track and field teams performed very well over the weekend at the USATF New England Championships. Vladimir Popchoy broke his own pole vaulting record twice in one day, destroying his own record by more than six inches. The women added a first place finish of their own. Both teams will compete in the American East Conference Indoor Championships at BU this weekend. Women's lacrosse is on the road this weekend. They'll travel to BU on Saturday while the men host Siena at the Cushing Field Complex at 1 p.m. Baseball has three games this weekend when they head down to North Carolina. They'll play Davidson on Friday, Fairley Dickinson on Saturday, and on Sunday they'll take on Lehigh. Softball also has a packed weekend ahead of them with two doubleheaders. Friday's twofer will be with James Madison and Auburn, and Saturday's slate will consist of North Dakota and Yale. Here we go, your Sage Bank plays of the week at number three. Renardo Perry does it again. Bit of a scoop and score here. One-handed flush to the rack. We'll see it again in transition. Nobody outruns him. Here we go, number two to the ice. Coming in hot, C.J. Smith hits the right trigger button. John Edward up on that right stick. We'll see it again here. Coming down the side, beautiful pass in front. Edward finishes the job. At number one, it's Nicole Hayner on her senior night. The pride of Bedford, seven threes against UMBC. That ties a program record with Ginger Sanford about 14 years ago. See another one here, nothing but net. Tickling the twine, that's poetry in motion, ladies and gentlemen. 